What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Yeah, man, I was looking at, uh, I, I forget who channel I was watching, but they were saying that um, Keith Thurman and uh, Jerron Ennis is definitely going to get it on by the end of the year, man, uh, for one of uh, Errol Spence's vacant belts after him and uh, Crawford fight, man. And uh, that's what Boots need to be doing right there. Uh, Boots need to be in there with eight caliber fighters so he can start getting pushed. And, you know, because to be honest with you, if Spence and Crawford leave, uh, as much as I like Keith Thurman, I don't think he's going to be able to take that power. I mean, and why is this kept, uh, you know, Boots is 5'10 with a 74-inch reach. That's going to cause Keith some major problems. I think Keith is, what, 5'7 with like a 69-inch reach. Uh, Boots going to have a height and a reach advantage, and I think the power. Because, I mean, uh, Keith... I don't know, Keith may be faster than Boots. He's pretty fast, or they speed going to be about on the same level. But Keith Thurman got great ring generalship, you know, the way he moves around the ring. Plus, he throws good, good combinations, and he switches combinations up. So I really think this would be a good test. Uh, and I like Keith Thurman a whole lot, man. I, 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 that's going to be a damn good fight right there. Uh, if if the, if one time come in the ring, not the Keith that we've been seeing in the last two two fights, but if he bring one time in the ring, the real Thurman, that's gonna be a uh, that might turn into a little war, uh, cause I don't see Keith just folding uh, immediately. You understand? I I I, I can see Keith, Keith gonna try hard, and he not gonna just get dominated in there. Uh, I don't it, put it like this. If Boots could go in there and, 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 and wipe Keith Thurman out. Shit, everybody from 154 on down might, well, from 160 on down, uh, I'll be, I, I have to be uh, looking out for him coming soon because, you know, the boy only 23 years old, he going to fill out, you know, because uh, if you look at Terrence Crawford, he, over the last three years, I got to give, I will say, uh, Bud has gotten real, real thick, you know, uh, he, you know, he done grew into the division, uh, and I think, I think, uh, Ennis was born into the division. I think this is like a, his comfortable weight, 147. But as, as he get older, he gonna naturally get a little bit bigger. So I'm, I'm thinking he'll probably sell in at 160 at some point. Uh, you know, at the end of his career, I think he'll probably park in that middle weight. But it's gonna be some good fight. I man, if they had that Keith Thurman and uh, if if Keith Thurman and Boots fight on the undercard of a uh. Of uh, Errol Spence and, and Bud Crawford, boy, that's going to be a good night of boxing for the fans. I mean, that's like two pay-per-views in one, straight up. Uh, but I like I like Boots in that fight with Keith. Uh, as far as who I think is the better fighter, now I'm more of a Keith Urban fan than I am a uh, Gerard Ennis fan, so I'll be honest, because I just started hearing about him, and I do like what I see. Uh, but it, on the fan side, I guess I would have like to see Keith Thurman win the fight, you know, but I just don't think he's better than his young boy. Uh, but I tell you this much, Boots going to we'll really get to find out what he's all about in a fight like that with Thurman. And even if it look easy, I don't care. Uh, that won't be Boots' fault, you, you understand? Uh, but I don't think it will. I think Keith's going to bring him a real fight, and uh, and we'll get to see him dig deep and, and see what the boy really made of. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.